Right guys, Mark Crossfield here. We're looking at the Cobra King Utility today, um, boasting some pretty low CGs on this club. So the King Utility from Cobra, let's check it out. Let's get stuck in. Right, I'm here at Foresight Europe on their beautiful sim. This is the 3D sim, this one. I think it's a HD or 4K screen. Um, and for such a lovely hole, I've got it set out at 216 to this flag, par three. I'm gonna give the Cobra King Utility a bit of a test. So what we're getting, we're getting a hollowed out club. It's hollow on the inside, so hollow construction. It's got some L cup design on it, or L cup face, I think, which is gonna try and keep ball speeds up across the face, I'm sure. Um, it's got a changeable neck, so you can move the loft around. I've got the three utility, so you can move the loft up and down, subject dial it into what you want it to be. I've actually got it set at 21 degrees. Who would use these kind of clubs? Well, think of it as a three iron. Think of it as a hybrid even as well. It's for that 200 yard shot for me, 216, I'm gonna get with a bit of roll if I strike it. Um, but with that lower CG that it's boasting, lower than any other manufacturer almost out there, they're saying, um, it's gonna offer hopefully some help and some forgiveness over your kind of standard three irons, four irons, or long irons that you use. So let's give the utility a hit down by the ball. Looks really nice, next and offset. You do see the back of the club out of the back, like a little triangle shape, you're gonna have to do that really on a club that's trying to offer some kind of forgiveness. Um, yeah, let's give it a hit. Looks really nice down by the ball. Let's see what it feels like. Oh, I've pushed it. Oh, it's in those 3D trees, look. Get up! Oh, I'm over on the path. Coach would be proud of me. Hit that one okay, I just pushed it a little bit. Uh, 189 distance, I would get around 200 yards on a good hit if I get my little drawer on this one. It feels quite nice off the face, it makes a little bit of a ting. You do get the sound of that kind of hollowed out back. Let's give it another hit. It's gonna go a bit left, just stay there. Much better shot, but it's just gonna turn. Catch a piece, oh I would take that. I could chip and two putt for a bogey from there, no problem. So that one's gone 214 because it got my normal shape, a little bit more struck towards the toe. Again, felt nice. Pretty easy to launch. We will look at these numbers in a second to see exactly what we're getting out of it. Let's give it one more hit. Do like the look of it. Uh, it's not the biggest utility down by the ball as well. So even though it's got chunk in the right place, it doesn't look too hideous like some can. I mean, this isn't really my kind of club. I'm much more of a hybrid player from this distance. Well, that could work because the green slopes a bit that way. Go on. Oh, not bad. I'll take that one, 210. I'm going to give it one more go. I'm quite enjoying hitting it, to be honest. And this is an amazing looking hole. Seven yards right. Looking forward to seeing the spin numbers. Probably would want it spinning around 3,000 revs, I imagine. Um, but averaging, I would want it to be going 200 yards in a three iron. a better strike that could be good go on keep turning yeah you know, we'll finish on that one I'll take that from that distance all the time look at it just running through there's the benefits for me over one of these to a hybrid so let's just check these numbers out that one was 3.3 yards right of the target line that was set out by the machine um, let's see what the numbers come out like here we go, so we're spinning at 3.7 average, which is exactly where I'd want it to be, kind of between three and four. It's averaging 2.03, again, that's what I said, around that 200 yards, uh, that's all carry. I wouldn't work my roll numbers, I'd want to know what it's going through the air, because carry is going to change subject to what part of the planet you hit. Hard, soft, I'll build down and all those kind of things. Picking height around 29 yards, so around the 30 yards, my hybrids are there and a little higher, which is where I get a little bit more gaming out of it. Um, launching up at 13 degrees, you know, that's pretty healthy numbers from a free iron. As free irons go, I like the look of it, it feels nice. I think anyone looking for this bracket of club would easily take this one on. It would be very hard if you're someone who plays, say, another brand of clubs, to then maybe just put this one in on its own. I wouldn't, that would be quite, you'd often just kind of 
maybe pair them up with the set you've got. No reason to do that. That's just how I would see people buying these clubs. Um, but if you certainly want to try a hybrid that does offer a bit of help, low back CG, I'm sure Cobra are very proud of that and that's great, but how much difference that's going to make over other brands, up to you to go and test and try. Like I say with all of them really, I'm not seeing a massive improvement. What I put in is really at the end of the day. You saw the first shot going 190 to my better shots going 211. That's all me, no matter how low back and what have you that CG is. Good looking club, feels nice, sounds good. I, I do wish I could hit these more. I mean, I can hit these fine. I just feel I can do so much more with a hybrid. But for the people who don't want to hit hybrids, go and give it a go. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.